see you there. Come on, come on. We're going for a walk. Let's go. On the road again. I can't wait to be on the road. Ooh, a thimbleberry. <laughs> so pretty. I love those things. They're kind of an underrated berry. If you've never had one, these ones aren't ripe yet, but they turn like a dark red and they've got a really neat velvety texture to them. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Signs and stuff. That just means we're not to the fun part of the trail yet. Now this trail's not very far from town, but we have big trees like this one. Uh -huh. It's so big. Huh, that's what she said. Listen. Ooh. There's a raven. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jurassic Park. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, though, look at this shit. Wow. Moments later, in an undisclosed location, <laughs> we're trekking uphill. I think it's around here somewhere. Maybe. Oh, I found it. Ah, we're here. Okay, so we're here up at one of my quartz crystal spots. A uh, few other people know about this spot, but it's mostly kept to like a handful of people. Um, but we're going to show you what to look for. Now, to the untrained eye, this just looks like a bunch of dirt. Um, but. If you look along here, you can see how this granite runs in a line, and this granite runs in a line. Now, in between them, where I've been slowly, very carefully excavating here, there is this stuff, which, as you can see, is little bits of quartz. Now, as I get deeper into this vein, I'm going to start pulling out cleaner and cleaner pieces of these crystals. And what I'm doing is I'm just basically trying to find empty spots in between the crystals, sticking my screwdriver in and just giving it a little twist just to loosen them up. Because what I don't want to do is like bang at this with a hammer because that all that's going to do is just destroy all this stuff which is the stuff we want. We want this stuff. Because this stuff leads us to this kind of stuff, which is what we're after. I just got into this little pocket here, so I wanted to show you guys something. Pockets can kind of wrap up behind rocks and stuff, and they like to follow the hole in between the rock because that's where they get space. That's where they can grow. And they need space to grow. So, up in here, let's see. I think this is one, actually. Oh yeah, that's a chunk. That's a big one. Oh man. Oh, that's a really big one. Oh, I've got to be so careful. Because I don't want to break anything around it. Oh my god. And I don't want to break it too much, because I'm already fucking it up. What we want is to get this whole big chunk out in one piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and bust things out around it. And be as careful as I possibly can to try and get it out as one solid piece. Oh, I see a nice little one up here. Oh, yeah. Sweet. That is so cool. Okay, wait, I gotta wash that off. Show you guys. Look at that chubby little scepter. It's like a little quartz heart. Come on camera, focus. 
Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Check this out. Look at the size of these things. These are huckleberries. They look like red blueberries, just basically what they are. Now, huckleberries come in two varieties. There's these guys, which are the um, the old growth variety. This is a small one, though. Oh, and I got a little friend. Didn't even notice you there, buddy. How's it going? Yeah, stink bugs. They like this stuff. Now, these are probably one of the most nutritious berries that you can find uh, in British Columbia. Uh, they grow really prolifically here on the West Coast. And they're, I think, my favorite. <laughs> Something about the pink color and they're a little tart, but they're still nice and sweet love them the nice thing is there's not a whole lot of look-alikes so if you find a bush that looks sort of like a blueberry but with green stalks instead of red same spade shaped leaves then you can almost guarantee that this is a huckleberry bush oh man they're a bit sour but they're so good mm. oh man i love nature remember how i was just talking about huckleberries look at this 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 bush behind me right here that is an old growth variety huckleberry and they grow all over the place by this trail that i like to hike at um these ones aren't quite ripe yet but in about a week or so they'll be really nice i'm gonna come back i'm gonna 